Here's an excerpt from the Art of Reggae Basic Theory course for keyboardists, Lesson 4, talking about Roman numeral analysis. Please hit like, then subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit notifications, and then head over to artofreggae.com and sign up for your 7-day free trial. Welcome to Lesson 4 in our Basic Theory course. Roman numeral analysis is a type of musical analysis in which chords are represented by Roman numerals. This system forms the basis for most music theory analysis and is one of the easiest ways in which to transpose music into different keys. Each numeral represents the chord root whose root note is the scale degree of whatever scale you are using. I am using the major scale here and that is the most commonly used scale for analysis in Western music. As you will see, this scheme creates a family of chords and we'll be using triads only that are tied to each other by the notes of the major scale you are using. This is another way of explaining the meaning of the word diatonic that I mentioned in lesson two. It simply means that the notes and chords in you stay within the key, that is, the notes of whatever major scale you are using. Typically, uppercase numerals are used to represent major triads, while lowercase numerals are used to represent minor triads. However, some music theorists use uppercase numerals for all chords, regardless of chord quality. For this lesson, I will use uppercase and lowercase numerals. You will quickly notice how important it is to know your major scales when heading into the world of Roman numeral analysis. If you're confused, don't worry. Soon you won't be. Also, in this lesson, we're going to start applying what we've learned and play along with the famous Jamaican full-up rhythm by Sound Dimension. Let's rock it! Back in the 1960s and 70s, in the early days of reggae music, Studio musicians came up with simple songs with very distinct chord progressions, bass lines, and sometimes instrumental melodies. They were so infectious that an entire musical culture grew from them, whereby singers, sing jays, and rappers called DJs in Jamaica would record new lyrics and melodies over the original jam and in some cases would score massive hits with the new versions. These original jams came to be called rhythms. Some are as short as one bar with only one chord, while others are a bit longer, consisting of two to four bars with two to four chords, and always with a very distinctive bass line. Here, we're going to jam along with the Full Up Rhythm by Sound Dimension, originally released on Cox and Dodd's famous Studio One label in Kingston about 1976. Later in 1981, the Jamaican reggae group The Mighty Diamonds scored a massive hit on this rhythm with their song Pass the Coochie. And a year later, the British youth reggae group Musical Youth scored another massive hit with their song Pass the Duchy. This rhythm uses the chord progression one major to two minor. Let's take a look. But first, let's go over some reggae rhythm playing essentials. The rhythm that the piano plays in reggae music is most commonly called the chop, the skank, the bang, or the strum. It is almost always played with two hands on deck. Here we are going to play a C major triad in root position and a D minor triad in root position an octave apart in both hands. This is what I mean by playing with both hands on deck. It's essential for delivering the power needed when playing the chop. Using Roman numeral analysis, this is the one major chord and the two minor chord, a very common reggae chord progression. Okay, now let's jam along with the full up rhythm. We 
have an extended version of this rhythm minus the piano in the practice loop section. There are many other practice loops to jam along with as well. Also, there's a playlist that goes along with this lesson where you can hear the original versions of the songs we've used. That's the end of lesson four. I encourage you to spend as much time as you need learning what we've covered here and having a blast playing along with the practice loops. The next lesson explores inversions and voice leading. See you there. Everything you learn can be applied to nearly any popular style of music. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe to our channel, hit notifications, and then go to artofreggae.com and start your seven day free trial.